many of you guys would say um, you want your life to count? How many of you guys would say you want your life to count? Only a couple of you guys. Wow, that's crazy. No, I think, I think we would unanimously say we all want our life to count. We want to live for something greater than ourselves. I think we would all say that. And, and I was asked that question when I was about 15 or 16 years old. Um, if you knew me back then, I lived for one thing. My life revolved around one purpose, around one thing, and that one thing was fitness. That was, that was my everything. That's my identity was wrapped up in. When can I get the next workout? When can I do this? My, I just want to get my one and max higher. I want to run the mile fast. I want to do more pull-ups. I want to do better in competitions. Like My life revolved around that one goal. And I was okay with it. Life was great. And I was going through and, and living for that one task. And, and one night I found myself at a Bible study. And someone was explaining to me the reality of eternity, the truth of eternity, how long eternity is. It's forever. And we're here just for a few short years. This life is here today, gone tomorrow. And then we're going to enter into eternity. And I'm going to stand before God. And one day you're going to stand before God and give an account of your life. And as I was thinking what I'm, what I'm living for, if I were to stand before God right now, back when I was 15 or 16, what would I give an account of? I'm thinking, I'm standing before God. I'm like, here it is, God. Like, here's my one rep max back squat. Like, <laughs> like what? God's not going to be concerned about that. Or here it is, Lord. I can do 50 pull-ups. God's going to be like, no. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Lord is not going to be saying, Josh, I wish you worked out more. Or, Josh, I wish you did more squats. Or Josh, I wish you ran more. Obviously, there's truth to taking care of yourself, but not making it your life. And I found myself questioning, what am I living for? Am I living a life that counts? And I want to take that and flip it back on you guys for a moment. For me, it was fitness. But for you guys, what may it be? Could it be um, more money or more success? Or could it be comfort or living for that retirement or whatever it may be that is pulling your attention away from eternity and causing you to lose focus on what truly matters? That's why I love the way Paul puts it in Colossians. Right behind us, Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. He says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Because of this truth, he says, set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above and not on earthly things. So he gives us encouragement. Set your minds and set your hearts on things above, not on things of the earth. Why? Because he knows that things of the earth are temporary. It's a vain pursuit. And in order to be used by the Lord, in order to live for the kingdom of God and live for eternity, you don't have to have a high IQ. You don't need to know a lot of things. You don't need to come from a good family. You don't need a bunch of money. You don't need all these things to be used by the Lord. You just need to know one very uh, true reality. And that's the reality of the gospel, that Jesus came and lived and he died. He lived a sinless and perfect life for you, died on the cross for you, and rose again for you. So that you can have eternal life forever with him. And understanding that one truth and let that truth grip you. And put your faith and trust in that and live life now for the kingdom of God rather than the things on earth because they're temporary. We're here today and they're gone tomorrow. So I want to leave you with one question here. What is it that you're living for right now? you got to answer yourself honestly. What am I living for? What am I pursuing? Things of the earth that are here today and gone tomorrow. Or is it eternity? Are your hearts and minds set on eternity? Living for the kingdom of God that lasts forever. So how do you live a life that counts? Setting your minds on things above, not on things of the earth. So let's pray. Again, Lord, we just want to thank you for who you are. Your love and grace faithfulness. Lord, and help us right now. Give us the strength. Give us the awareness. Give us the wisdom to set our minds on things above. Help us when we start drifting to the things of the earth, when we let the worries and anxieties of everything around us begin to weigh us down and blind us from what truly matters, and that's living for you and your kingdom. Help us to be busy about your work and not the work of the world, Lord. And as we go into this workout, may we keep that in mind and doing this to honor you and to take care of what you have given us, being our bodies. We love you, in Jesus' name, amen.